Hey Susanna, it's John Luca. Thanks for nominating me, and you guys should vote for me because I have the best curls, and I can wake up and it looks like this. From the AT&T MLS studios in New York City, Kaylin Carr, we should all be so lucky as John Luca Buccio. He's got a good point too. I mean, he really does. Like he he legitimately wakes up with that those curls intact. Imagine. You wake up like this? Absolutely not. It's <laughs> frightening how long it takes okay. <laughs> me to get this together in the mornings. Um, hey guys, welcome this week in MLS. Welcome. Good day to be back on the couch with yeah. my guy, Kaylin Carr. Absolutely. Uh, we have a stacked show, Kaylin. There's a lot going on today. Let's get to so it. We're going to get to our twim takeaways, but we're going to do these in like 10 seconds or less. I'm not kidding, because oh, wow. that's that's how pressed for time we are. All right. Ready? You set the, you do you want me to go? Yeah. Whew, okay. 10 seconds, my twim takeaway is Walker Zimmerman and LAFC. They get the 2-1 win over RSL. Um, I predicted that Walker Zimmerman was going to be one to watch in this game. And guess what? I was right. He had the banger in extra time for the, the game winner, and um, they're just flying. Nice. Out of the West. I like it. hey -o. My twim takeaway is going out to the East, and Philadelphia Union getting back on track with a big 3-0 win at home. A special recognition to David Akam, who got two goals in this one and had a really sort of inspirational, inspired performance coming uh, in the same week that his father passed. Yeah. So he dedicated the two goals. Did not um, know that until he said it. Yeah, the after the game, yeah, and said that uh, he felt like his father was watching him. So. Well, you could see in his, cel his goal celebrations, yeah. he was really, really emotional. He's had a tough, a tough go in Philly, mm -hmm. so hopefully this can get him back going. But uh, uh, condolences to the Akam family. David, uh, keep going, man. And um, it was yeah, great to see Yeah, It was get back on really, track. really good to see them get back on track. And David Akam scoring goals. Absolutely. That's what we like to see. That's yeah. what we like to see. Okay, so we saw John Luca at the top of the show. Okay. Obviously part of our March Madness Hair bracket. It's been wild. You know, you guys have been very, very active, and yes. I we appreciate you getting in the comments and and giving us your thoughts on who should advance. So, so they voted through. Somebody, so right? yes, so it was between we had you guys vote between Nacho Piatti and the Man Bun, yep, and Danny Hoosen, who just has that sort of beautiful flow. And this was real close, Kaylin. Really, we're talking two votes, two votes separating these guys, but going through. To the semis, I believe. <gasps> Man bun wins. Wow. Nacho Piatti. I would have voted the Hussein. I really would have. I mean, his hair. I like. I I do feel bad. The for man Danny. bun is a stretch. It's like it's hanging on for dear life. That thing. <laughs> it's, a, it's a teeny little. But I don't even it's know. A it's a bun. Yeah. A nubbin. Yeah. A little. Man nubbin It looks bun. like a little french fry <laughs> hanging off the top. <laughs> anyway, the, the, the people have spoken. I respect your choice. You, so let's let's take a look at the, the bracket again. Okay. And see who we've got in the running because I think we're gonna have to put some, some people through. We're gonna have you guys vote for the final. Um, but let's see if we can wow, get the- uh, responsibility. It is, exactly. But can we see the graphic so we I know who's, who's up against who? Yep, uh, I think we are going to have Breck Shea going against... Breck Shea against <laughs> Gianluca Busio. And then Carlos Vela? Carlos Vela against and Nacho. Nacho advances. Oh gosh, okay, so, oh my lord, the pressure, the okay. pressure, so we've the got pressure. Carlos, he's got a little bit of the, he's got the, he's I got have the to curl go over. I have to go Vela here. As much as I love a good man bun, and you know I do, yeah. for the reasons that you pointed out, I think that that Carlos Vela, you just can't compete with that. He was flow. always going to be in the finals. It's beautiful. He was the favorite coming in. He's got such good hair. He's done nothing. I haven't seen any sort of. He hasn't skipped a wash day or anything <laughs> in between. I feel like he's <laughs> been right on top of his game. I really want to know what's in his bag. You know, like the product bag. On the way in, what yeah. What putting in there? Yeah. What's in there? That what's would your be secret? A great video. Wouldn't it? Maybe that I'm gonna try. Be. That's gonna be like my mission this year. What is in the man bag? What does he use on his hair? Be okay. Careful what you find. So between, <laughs> oh gosh, this is a tough one. Breck okay. Shea and John Luke. Breck has been a sleeper. He's been a sleeper pick of mine all the way throughout. I, know. I mean, you I really think pushed the for him blonde dreads week. are. That's it. That's you know, he's a pioneer. He is. I. Here's my thing. Number one, John Luca made a pretty solid pitch. He did. Guys, at the start of the show, which I appreciated. And Breck Shea, you know, I think this means more to John Luca. I think John Luca wants to win best hair in yeah. MLS. I think Breck Shea is just kind of like, you know what? He's like, he's like just too cool for school about like it. He got dreads on accident. Yeah, just <laughs> like whatever. He <laughs> he's not thinking about it though. He doesn't care what the people think. I think John Luca really wants this. I, so I feel I'm, the hunger. I feel the desire. I feel the, the passion. 
I'm the curl is strong. Uh huh. I'm I'm going John Luca. Let's go John. John Luca. Luca. Oh God, you guys, this is great. This is Carlos Vela up against John Luca. Yeah. In the final. Well, it's it's sort of like more of a classic style versus the curls. You yes. Know? It's like a very sort of controlled wave. To, but then there's like the full flex. Okay, so guys, get stars. in the comments and let us know who you're voting for. This is it's it's in your hands. We're we're gift wrapping it and putting it out. Not for us to decide. It anymore. isn't. This it's is out of our hands. This is such a good bracket. I'm really glad we did this. This is big. <laughs> this, this is the content big. I'm here this for. This feels big. Um, Kaylin, big day for us today because we have a very special guest that we're bringing into the studio. Really? A good friend of both of ours. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Miss Jillian Sackovitz. Let's bring her on in. I wasn't lying, guys. I told you that we had a very special guest coming into the studio today. And here she is, Miss Jillian Sackovitz. Thanks for having me so, on the couch. So good to have Ooh, you on yeah. the couch. Oh, I love it. I like this. I like this, like, three more bodies. Look <laughs> at us. We're just the best friends ever. Um, Jill, you have been up to some really, yes. really cool stuff mm -hmm. in the off-season. Your, your series, Beyond the Stands, is getting released. Yes. We're so excited to see these episodes. Tell us about... Mm -hmm. what you've been up to and what we're going to see. The so first one will be coming out today, mm -hmm. and um, we shot a couple during the off-season. Mm -hmm. And what that allowed us to do was follow some of our international players home, guys that are doing really incredible work in their very short off-season window, and giving back to the areas, communities they grew up, Central America, Africa, um, and that will be the one that comes out today, is Jonathan Mensa <gasps> in his native country of Ghana, and I'll just preface this with the type of person that Jonathan is, is we basically crashed what should have been his honeymoon. <laughs> but instead, he, days wow. after getting married, welcomes us in, and he's just, you'll see him, he's cutting grass, he's giving back, he's rolling up with tons of supplies for local orphanages, and that just speaks to the type of person that what he is. What a guy. Yeah. We've got... We've a little got, bit of footage. Yeah, let's see, we, we've got a little sneak so peek. So they, the music there was incredible. This was a welcome wow. parade just for Jonathan. He took us around Aww. the whole Accra area and then we uh, went to some local orphanages that Jonathan has really, really changed. Wow. Oh, look Good. at these kids. They're changed so their living adorable. conditions, schools, better homes he's helped build there. Look at those moves. Oh God, this is awesome. He, oh, don't look at those moves. <laughs> oh, wow. Don't look at those moves. But look at him. He was getting down and dirty and like for him, it's all about oh, really getting okay, in there and giving right back. The kids now. were fantastic. Uh, 250 kids at one orphanage cool. that we went to, hundreds of kids at another school. And the, look at Jonathan. He's oh. just, he's in there. That's his beautiful wife. Oh, she's stunning. Yeah. And uh, oh, I did hold this the machete, <laughs> but. Yeah. That's so awesome. it was. It was That's a great. Amazing. It was a great experience. It wow. really, really was. Very cool. Okay, so the, I, I saw you holding those. That yeah. Beautiful, beautiful little baby. These kids are just incredible. What are What are the stories behind these? How did they get there? Yeah. So, Jonathan helps give back to a number of orphanages, and this one has 250 kids and one woman running it herself, who was an orphan herself. Oh wow. And when Jonathan first came in contact with them, uh, they were living on bamboo stretchers, they had bamboo walls and mud, and he has changed this to a two-story school. He's now given them a separate area um, for their homes, and he, I mean, he's come in and they have running water, and really it's all Jonathan and his family, um, friends, people he knows in Accra that are giving their time too to give back. You know, he has no major donors. Mm -hmm. It's all him. Wow, and he's, he's doing this uh, through his own foundation? Yes. And, and what kind yeah. of impact is he having on the community? Then? Yeah, so it's the Jonathan Mensa Foundation. Mm -hmm. And the next thing that they want to do is, I mentioned the homes and the school that he changed it from bamboo and mud to cinder blocks and a really, really uh, improved facility. But now the home and the school are two hours walking apart. Um, and these are kids that have to go to school. Yeah. So it's anywhere from five to 18 year olds walking two hours to school two hours back. So the next thing Jonathan's working on is buses. You can go to his GoFundMe page, Jonathan Mensa Foundation. Um, I'll post it on my Twitter. I'm gonna make these guys do it too. And Absolutely. we'll share all that. Uh, we're trying to raise the money to get uh. them buses. And these kids are anywhere from, like I said, going to school five to 18. But when we were at the orphanage, um, there was a new baby there that was four days old that had been dropped off at a police station. Oh so goodness. these are the kids who need us. Um, you'll see in the video their smiles. It'll, there's uh, no way you won't go and donate. No, this is absolutely amazing. We're so grateful to, uh -huh. to, to share this story. Yeah, I'm excited to share and the, it. And the awesome work that Jonathan Mensa is doing. What a guy. He, uh, he's incredible. Jill, we're going to keep you here. Okay. 
because yes, we have a, a fun segment that we do. I think I think it's going to be right up your alley. <laughs> Little yeah. lovely. So it, it's called Keeper of Your Heart, mm -hmm. Keeper of My Heart. It's uh, Susanna my heart. concept in it. <laughs> my my heart. Yes, Susanna's heart is <laughs> is up for grabs right now. <laughs> so uh, what we are doing is we have goalkeepers who are basically been brokering through their play and a little bit of off the field kind mm -hmm. of antics to try and you know win Susanna's heart. So well, and speaking of which, Bill Hamid was the last the last guy yeah. to win Keeper of My Heart, and he he sent us a uh, did he. A little message. Right. Sure did. Here's Bill. Hey, Susanna. Thank you for choosing me as your Keeper of the Heart Award. And uh, I'm hoping that I can win it again at some point this season. I love Bill Hamid. Me that too. was, I mean, he just, I, I feel like it really matters. Very fashionable. Yeah, Bill. you could yeah. feel the passion for sure. <laughs> All right, uh, this next is a up. prestigious award. So to, to see who, so this is kind of like, well, I guess Jill, you're gonna help out here. So mm -hmm. this is, oh, think of this as we, like a hometown So I'm over here. Yes. You know? this yeah, is yeah, like yeah. Hometown yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, so first up, uh, here we go. <gasps> Brian Rowe. Brian Rowe, Ooh, who Brian had a Rowe. heck of a say. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Holy did some, did moly. Some good work at Red Bull Arena. Oh, oh. my lord. I feel like he really made a strong case, you know. He they did, that was Got a... behind the ball, these guys really. Uh, it was tremendous. Yep, Sasha got the goal. Very worthy. So this is all based on performance. Yeah, pretty okay. much. Okay. Oh yeah, a little bit. A little bit. And hair. <laughs> it's, a, it's an overall <laughs> package. a lot of factors. Uh, Spencer Ritchie. It's very oh, Spencer, Spencer Ritchie. Ritchie. He had a get double a, a close save. Up. Yeah. Uh, FC Cincinnati on a roll, and Ritchie yes. is a big reason why. You um, you yeah. You talked I talked to him, him post game. And uh, he won me over, so that's really. Is that a little bias? No, you're, that's what you're here for—to help counsel. Me. I need, yeah, exactly. This is when, like, I need my friends. I need their input. Yeah. Um, here, a little, just a little. Okay, that's it. Susanna, it's a done deal. The, I, have it, you made your <clears throat> final decision? I have made my final decision. The time is now, <sighs> gentlemen. Spencer, please. Will you accept? My water bottle. We're wow. a sucker Gross. for a double save, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, I love a good double save. Wow. I love a good double save. I'm sorry. And Brian, I, Brian, I know, Brian, it wasn't, it wasn't you. No. Long ride home, bro. I just have to go with my heart. I have to go with what I feel in my heart and my gut and... Um, and what I whisper in her ear. And what Joey whisper <laughs> <laughs> in my ear. All. Amazing. All right. Uh, what did you think? Was, was my good? It's a good yeah. segment, right? Oh my god, it's so cute. It's good. Well, well, we'll to... I saw the Usted one in yeah. the beginning of the year. We're gonna have to see if um, if we can get Spencer to send me a little. He has no choice, little really. Message. Well, the precedent has been set. I'm. You just know who saying. we did get a message from? Who? My buddy Jaleel. Oh, <gasps> that's right. He's gonna be our first twim correspondent. We have been waiting for this day. Yeah. We've we've made a few asks. Jaleel. So there's people everywhere. Jaleel. Oh, Jill, thank you for joining us. Oh sure. Yeah. Thank you for your contributions. Of check out the video. And Jaleel, take it away. Hey, what's up everybody? We just got done with training and we're getting ready to get into this crossbar challenge. I got the boys with me. We're still fresh from training, so let's see who can hit the crossbar first. Fresh. Let's get it. The one up we got, first. We got the rookie, oh, Dewan Jones from Michigan to start us off. Oh, he is, that's too much power. Jay. It's too much power. Andrew Farrell, let's do this. Oh, that looks nice. Oh, 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 oh. I think you got those x-ray vision goggles. It's all good though. Let's go, Farrell. I got you. Ooh, 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 ooh. That was close. Wow, Turner, you got anything on it? That looks nice. I go left foot on this one? Just this one's for Farrell. This one's for Farrell. He's got x ray vision, so it's. No! Gross. Gross. All right, Turner. All the way from New Jersey. That looks nice. Ooh, it's over. We got Andrew Farrell, the winner here. I mean. Oh, yeah, Dewan hit one too. I almost forgot. All right, so. Technically. Technically, the only person who did who never hit the crossbar is Mr. Matt Turner. <laughs> How's it? Okay. No, he can't do it. It's only three. It's only three. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. No, no rookies allowed. You go and then use Farrell. Go Turner. 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 Go Turner.
<laughs> you ruined it on my turn. All right, cool. That concludes the crossbar challenge. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you guys had a good time. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out. Kaylin, I think that you and I should come up with a little choreographed dance. Yeah, do you think like we can that. do that? I, I don't, probably. I think we can. If do we it. worked on it. Well, the complicated part is with the third person. You ha yeah, that's some is coordination that involved. Yeah. It's timing. Uh, that's teamwork. But Jul that was awesome. Yeah, Jaleel, that was cool. Yeah. Jaleel, well done <coughs> on your your first round with the. Uh, well, congratulations with our to Andrew Farrell as well. He yeah. won. He looked like he won the challenge. I, I, he's the only he one. He pinged that, that first one. Yeah. Only one that hit it. He did. Uh, but Jaleel, we want you to keep coming back doing more videos for us. That yeah, was cool. that was really, really fun. Thank you so much for sending that in. Okay, Kaylin. What's up? About the time. Did you see that? Yes. There it is. Let's see what we got today. What got today? What's in store? Oh, this is my guy Walker. Ah. Uh, did you see what he, he did? He went for it. He went full keel. He went full keel. Full keel. Respect now, who did it better? There we go. There's the OG right there. That's the OG. Who did it better? I gotta go Let's cue. See again. I gotta Let me go. see again. I mean, Let on. me see again. Come Walker. On. So Walker's he's being held back by Dio, so it's like he's uh -huh. got a little bit he's more a little stifled to like get it off, but yep. Ooh. Ooh. Keel's I mean, but I, I kind of I see, love the respect you for, know what for it is? Stephen Keel and that iconic moment. Here's the difference. Walker didn't know where the camera was. So we only get the back part. <laughs> Keel, he's a vet. He <laughs> knows where the camera is. So that he guy. plays to the camera. I know where the camera is. What a pro, what a pro. Three, in the pocket. Ooh. You know they still talk about that in Dallas? Every time I'm down there and they see me and they're like, how's our guy Stephen Keel? And then I get one of these references. It's so funny. Feels I'm, good. I right? know, I know. Feels it good. is very satisfying. What if I did that at Men's League? Just like. Oh, please do that. Please. Keel's on my team. <laughs> if he does that after a will, game. Will, that, will, you make that, will you make that happen? Time to let it go. Time, time. Let it go, guys. Into the universe. Okay, let's keep um, it light. What a show, man. We had a lot. We talked a little hair bracket. We had our girl Jill on. We did Keeper of My Heart. Jaleel, Anibaba. This was, I mean, guys, Bill Hamid giving yes. us some love. I just want to see who wins this hair, this hair final. We're, we're going to announce it next week, right? Next week. Okay. So, guys, again, reminder, vote. Let us know. John Luca or Carlos, who's it going to be? Thank you so, so very much for watching. We will... Uh, We'll see you next week. Good luck, John Luca. Good luck, good luck. Give me some tips. <laughs> I need products. <laughs>